YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to in Cinema 4D Studio you have to make sure you have the studio version for the simulation tags and I will have a video out soon on how to get the uh, studio version and all the keys for Cinema 4D soon. So you're going to want to start out with just a plan. Grab just expand it out a little cube as you can see right here you have a cube right over the plane you gotta make sure it's elevated um, and then go to the cube right click simulation tags rigid body mm. and click on the plane collider body and make sure whatever this is colliding with or whatever this is going to land on has the collider body and ever what you want to throw at the collider body as a rigid body. It's complicated but just work with that concept. Now once you play the physics will be activated. But nope that's not all. I'm going to show you some more. Um, we're going to grab another plane. Going to bring it right here and you know we're going to bring that in a little take it and then bring this up and expand that quipow we have that now give this a collider body since this is what's going to be staying there and what's going to have the object rolling on it now we're going to take a sphere here place it right on top of it you can put it right on it but I'd put it just a little over it so you don't get it stuck in there and reduce error place it like right there come up here make it a little smaller so now that we got that we're gonna give this the uh, rigid body I'm going to let that go. It's going to roll down here. As you see here. Now, pretty much rigid body and the simulation tags work just like the physics in our world. Plus, <clears throat> add, take away a few things. But as you can see, you got a ball rolling. You can take um, take a what is it? A cloner places spheres under it. Oh, we're gonna wanna don't don't mind that here. One sec. Um, my spheres are right there. I'm going to get a cloner, which is over here. I'm going to take a cloner, move it where you want to move it, put it like where you want the balls to be, put the sphere right there, and now you got more balls to deal with. And offset them, um, or what is it again? Uh, but these will all work and roll, but you're gonna want to add a few spacing in between them when they set off. And you do that by uh, taking it and just spreading them up like that. And let's take that, kind of make it like a tower leaning. You could do a lot with this. You can make a bowl, get a tube, uh, what is it? Make the tube bigger. 
make the simulation text, give it a collider body, just have the balls roll all over it, whatever you want to do. So, um, uh, yeah, thank you, and goodbye.